In Los Angeles, the nation's second largest school district will now close for two weeks starting Monday. Across the country, at least 21 million kids now home from school. The experts tell us, look, two weeks is too late. Uh, you know, another week is too late. You got to try to slow this thing down early. We can't stop it, uh, but we can slow it down. Decisions with a massive impact for working parents and for all the children now spending the school day at home. Closing schools is always the last resort because of all the negative impacts. We feed kids every day for breakfast and lunch. In response, districts are using school buses to deliver meals and setting up food distribution sites. And while many schools are adding distance learning, that only works if every child has access. It's not all 53,000 students have online access or a device, a computer. So if we can't provide that online learning for all of our students, then we can't. With all the closures and cancellations, there are openings. In New Rochelle, New York, drive through testing beginning Friday morning. We have six lanes. We can do about 200 cars per day, and that can ramp up. You drive off, and then we call you with the results. Colorado and Washington also using that model in some areas, a way to increase testing while minimizing exposure. But it's still not enough to meet the demand. I'm running a fever, and I have chest congestion, and nobody can test us here.